Hey, cheers you guys. Welcome back to the channel. Marley and I are up here behind the mountains and we are doing some camping. It's just a beautiful day. About a month ago, my friend James over at the Junkyard Fox channel tagged me in an EDC video. And I hadn't had a chance to really respond to it. And so this is gonna be that video. I will leave a link in the description if you guys wanna check out his. Um, he's got a fantastic channel over there. He does a lot of bushcraft stuff, a lot of cooking videos, and he's just a, a very knowledgeable guy as far as outdoor content. He had tagged me in an EDC video, and for me, everyday carry um, is not only stuff that you know I'd bring with me on a daily basis, maybe to work, but I always at least have this particular kit in my vehicle. Now I do a lot of camping, I do a lot of hunting, and so this really kind of fits my lifestyle and the kind of stuff that I do. This is a bag that I've had for just about five years now. It's probably seen better days. I'm sure some of you guys can relate. You get attached to an item and uh, it just kind of goes along for the ride. This is a redhead bag, very similar to a larger style camelback. Matter of fact, you can put a bladder in here. I don't use it that way. I just use this as a small backpack. I always have Marley with me. And so I, obviously I have water that I keep in here. I've got a small collapsible bowl that I use for her, um, which is nice to have if you have pets. I can definitely recommend one of these. You know, it's nice to have it. In this front pouch here, I've got a Bic lighter, I've got a ferrous rod, a roll of electrical tape, which I can use to tether items together. I could probably use it to start a fire if I needed some extra material. And it's just nice to have, you know, several different ways of getting a fire started. Um, I've got my keys, I've got an extra camera battery, and I always bring a flashlight. This is a small quantum flashlight. It's compact, small enough that I can fit in my bag. And it seems to be pretty bright um, for those nights where I'm just trying to travel or do things around camp. Off to the right side of the pack here, I have a multi-tool. Um, this is a higher end Leatherman. I will leave links in the description and I'll give you guys a full rundown of this and then I'll bring you back and uh, I'll show you the rest of what I have in my pack. Inside the larger pouch, I have a pair of gloves, which come in handy for around camp, um, cutting firewood, anything that you're doing that you wanna protect your hands, or if it's just cold, you know, it's nice to have a pair of gloves. Um, I have a, a hat here, which is nice for those, those warm days. Nice to have something to keep the sun off your head. And you can also use this to carry stuff um, if you're doing any kind of foraging, but mostly just to keep the sun off. And then I have a Ziploc bag here. I've got some fire starting material. I've got some cordage. You know, it's always nice to have cordage um, if we're building a shelter, if we're trying to tie something off. Um, it's just nice to have. And then I have some tent sticks and then I have my larger 
knife that I use around camp. This is a Topps Outpost Command. A very, very high quality blade. Very strong. Not anything you can't do with this. It's very good at chopping. It's very good for any kind of bushcraft. Very good for shelter building. I'll give you guys the full specs rundown of that and then I'll bring you back. Now as far as a knife that I carry on my person, um, this is a Best Tech. I've had this for a while, I've gotten a lot of use out of it. It's probably due for a cleaning and a sharpening here pretty soon. Um, but it's just a great knife, really nice size. I use this for everything. I'm able to uh, cut and process food. Um, you know, I use it to open boxes, I use it for any kind of things I need to do around camp and it's really nice to have a blade like this that I can just clip on my my pocket here and it's always with me. I really hope I was able to share in good detail all the stuff that I bring with me out in the field and this is really kind of specific to me. I realize everybody's different but let me know in the comments what you guys bring. I'm curious to know. I'm going to go ahead and tag my friend Tony over at Random Adventures 2.0. I know he's on the road right now and so he might not film this right away, but I'm just throwing it out there. I'll leave a link to his channel as well. And I really want to thank James over at Junkyard Fox for tagging me in this video. And we'll see you on the next one.